let me ask you some what, what um what what makes you choose the Republican Party over other parties? What 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 what, what why do you consider yourself a Republican? Well, it's a it's a story, obviously. Mm-hmm. So we skipped over a lot, a very important part. When I went to college, played there for a couple of years, ultimately got into trouble, mm-hmm. uh, went in, well, got arrested, ultimately got convicted of armed robbery conspiracies, ended up going to prison. Mm-hmm. During that whole process, I became aware of the system and the constitution. And it, like, obviously I went to trial as my own lawyer. Okay. And so I had to, you know, really learn about my, you know, the, all of my, all the Bill of Rights, yeah. and the Constitution and everything, but also just the laws in the state of California. And so after going through that process, I pretty much was able to speak up for myself in a different, in a, in a different way. Mm-hmm. Before, when I was young, I was kind of angry and just acting out, and, you know, and trying to go to other people to try to solve problems for me. Sure. And now after uh, going through that whole process, that was how I was able to pretty much learn how to navigate some of these, uh, you know, navigate the system is what I call okay. it. Yeah. But the reason I chose the Republican party and I can walk you through it, mm-hmm. but while I was, fighting my case mm-hmm. and I was studying law, there was a whole movement going on in the two, like the late two thousands. And it's the sovereignty movement uh-huh. with the tea party is. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of that. Familiar with the tea party. Yeah. Your, your name is being taken by the, you know, the government takes your birth certificate. They take out the treasury bond or some mm-hmm. things like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, on the fringe elements of like the right. Correct. And so, but me being, you know, my own lawyer at the time and through trial, any type of information, especially yeah. when it pertains to law and you're mm-hmm. trying to get your freedom, I'm not going to pass up. So right. I went, you know, looking through that and even did a deep dive into it because it was so interesting yeah. to learn about the foundation of what our law is on, which is there is truth to it. Yeah. And like, I'm not saying it's a con or a conspiracy or yeah. even a scam, but it has there has been elements of the sovereignty movement where I have seen scams and cons and conspiracies. Yeah. And I think it's important for like, especially Republicans to stand up. Yeah to some of the fringe elements of the conservative party. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. and I, and I'm skipping over it, but right. <laughs> that's, you know, but that's one of the reasons why I, the Republican party is because in my opinion, out of the two parties, they have a tradition of fighting for freedoms. Now the people who have actually been in those parties, especially of late mm-hmm. have not followed in that tradition. Okay. They've been following in the tradition of special interest. Yeah. You yeah, see what yeah. I mean? But It's like the young guy coming into the locker room and it's like cleaning shit up. Yeah, yeah. You know, but the young guy got to be able to play. Right, right. You know, so that's why <laughs> yes. I'm trying to show him like, yeah. hey, I could throw this football around yeah. a little bit. You yeah. know, let's get busy, but clean this shit up. Get yeah. this out of here. Let's, you know, this guy got to go. He can't be on the team. He's yeah. not with us. You yeah. know, we have to like, we have to step up and I say check, you know, some of these these negative elements wherever we are. And mm-hmm. I say that even for the Democrat party, Yeah, you know, and I talk to Democrats a lot. I'm running a district that is heavily Democrat, like yeah. um, it's heavily liberal. Yeah. And, and I tell them like, I can't even what I, I'd be hypocritical to really, you know, uh, demean that party because yeah. it is because of that party, especially in this state that I'm even able to run and to vote today. Yeah. yeah. I'm an ex felon. Yeah. You know, so, there's a lot of people say the Republican Party lacks empathy. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why we probably need more uh, emphatic people in the mm-hmm. Republican Party. Yeah. We need more women in the yeah. Republican Party. But we also need more people on the Democrat side. And we also need that middle element, mm-hmm. independence. Yeah. These other things that bring a, we we take a lot of you guys' ideas. <laughs> we like them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> now, one of the things, because um, I get this, um, you know, I'm, I'm you know I'm an independent, and I meet people who will say things like, "You sh- based off the color of my skin, mm-hmm. I should be a Democrat." Oh yeah. Do you get yeah. that? Yeah. Do you, um, I mean, where all people, the time. yeah, and it's like. Like those people are 
Um, and I said something kind of like that to you yeah. when we was in there, but it was like, uh, like you look like a Republican, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And so people get into that. It's, I, I say kind of like sports teams, mm-hmm. you know, and I think people kind of cling to that instead of what, what is actually going on in the party, Yeah, you know, but to that, I usually say like my father and my grandfather from Mississippi, mm-hmm. you know, and they're like Republicans. Yeah. You know, you know, so it's like it's there's different elements. Even if yeah. you go back into history, there's always been black Republicans. Yeah. There's always been bl- Hispanic Republicans. Mm-hmm. You know, so but people don't really know that history. Yeah, and and and, and so the, the hardcore people like that, uh, I just argue with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I think On Facebook, uh, my aunties and yeah. stuff are like that. We've gotten into. Before I get on Twitter or before I say anything about Stephen Whitburn or whoever it is, yeah. I've argued with my own family members and my own aunties yeah. about this, you know, but this is how much it matters to us, like as Americans. Yeah. So people take it personal on, yeah. on X, Twitter and all that. Yeah. I'm like, dude, my auntie is my auntie's actually doing better with her, the points than you are. Yeah. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah. Yeah. Like, so people take it personal man, yeah. with the politics, too. What? So. Are 